हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand cellular telephone system. This figure shows the schematic diagram of cellular telephone system. Here, the geographical area is divided into hexagonal shape, and each hexagonal shape is known as cell. So, this hexagonal shape of geographical area is known as cell. Each cell consists of mobile station. and base station so you can assume mobile station as your handheld devices like mobile phone and base station as telephone towers so each cell consists of mobile station as well as base station which is mentioned as ms and bs so all the cells in a geographical area will be connected to mobile switching center and this mobile switching center is connected to public switch telephone network and in turn it is connected to the stationary phones so this is the basic structure of cellular telephone system so here mobile station is the mobile handset which is used by an user to communicate with another user so mobile station is nothing but the handset which we used for communication with another user a base station is an antenna which is controlled by small office so a base station is an antenna which is controlled by small office so wherever you can see a tower that tower is controlled by a small office the tower or an antenna is known as base station a cell is a cellular service area which is divided into small regions of about 5 to 20 kilometers so as i told you each geographical area is divided into hexagonal shape which is known as a cell a cell is the cellular service area which is divided into small regions so the cell is divided into a small regions as you can see in this diagram so each region will be of about 5 to 20 kilometers so each base station in a cell will cover up to 5 to 20 kilometers inside a cell mobile switching center is a switching office which controls each base station so as you can see in this diagram each base station is controlled by a switching office which is known as mobile switching center here a public switch telephone network is a combination of telephone network which are used worldwide which includes telephone lines fiber optical cables switching centers cellular networks satellite and cable systems here a public switch telephone network which is pstn is a combination of telephone networks that are used worldwide so it is the combination of telephone networks that are used worldwide which includes telephone lines fiber optical cables switching centers cellular networks satellite and cable systems so this pstn is in turn connected to stationary phones which are used for communication now let us understand cellular concept which is concept of cellular system in early phase mobile radio systems normally used a high power transmitter with antenna mounted on a tall tower this approach gave good coverage but it was very difficult to reuse same frequency hence network capacity was low so in early phases the mobile radio systems used high power transmitter with antenna that are mounted on tall towers so earlier in mobile communication high power transmitters were used with antenna mounted on a tall tower this gave good coverage but it was very difficult to reuse the same frequency so frequency reuse is very important concept in cellular communication which we will understand in future topics now you just remember that the earlier phase of mobile communication gave good coverage but it was difficult to reuse the same frequency hence the network capacity was very low as the demand for mobile service increased achieving high network capacity by the same radio spectrum 
was more important than covering large areas as the demand for mobile service increased achieving high capacity by the same radio spectrum was more important than covering the large areas as the demand for mobile service increased achieving high network capacity was more important by frequency reuse concept than covering the large areas as we have discussed the geographical area is divided into small number of service areas known as cell so as you can see in this diagram the geographical area is divided into small number of service areas which is about 5 to 20 kilometers and each service area which is in hexagonal shape is known as cell as you can see in this diagram we are having large cell for remote areas and we are having small cell for high density traffic area which will help in frequency reuse so here the geographical area is divided into number of service areas which is known as cells and this service area is about 5 to 20 kilometers and the group of cells is known as cluster so geographical area is divided into number of service areas and each service area is about 5 to 20 kilometer which is known as a cell and the group of cell is known as cluster here the frequency is reused in each cluster so the frequency is reused within each cluster which means frequencies used by one cell can be reused in other cell of neighboring cluster so frequency used by one cell can be reused by other cell of neighboring cluster so that's why we can say frequency can be reused in each cluster which is the group of cells to obtain frequency reuse high power transmitter is replaced by many low power transmitters each providing coverage to only a small portion of service area so to obtain the concept of frequency reuse the high power transmitter is replaced by many low power transmitters and each low power transmitter will provide the coverage to only small portion of service area so here instead of using high power transmitter with large area small cells are used with low power transmitters so that frequency reuse can be obtained that can increase the network capacity in frequency reuse cluster size is not fixed so it can be varied based on subscriber density and demand so using small cells will increase the network capacity in frequency reuse the cluster size is not fixed so which means the cluster size can vary based on subscriber density as well as demand so depending upon the subscriber density as well as demand the cluster size can vary by using small cells that will help in frequency reuse it will increase the network capacity so instead of using large cells so small cells are used in high density traffic areas as you can see in this diagram that will increase the network capacity this is about cellular telephone system and cellular concept hope you have understood the topic thank you